Are you going to sing that again now, Joseph? Yeah. Sorry? Are you going to sing that again? I was enjoying that. No. Do we know the song? No. Yes, it was good. I think I do. I haven't heard that one before, I don't think. I was enjoying it. That was lovely. For all you've done, for all you're going to do, yes. we give you thanks, we lift up our we give you thanks, we give you thanks, for we know that all things work together Bless you, do Lord. We bless you. We know your grace. For all that He has done. Hallelujah. We give Him thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. He was by Domway. Something in the nineties, I think. Um, thank you, Jesus. Okay, so we, uh, we will pray today, but before we pray, I, I would like to read this popular and famous psalm to us tonight. And please, while I read, let's just think about it in a different light that we've possibly read about it before and see a different thing to it. And let it give us a different, let it, let's, let it speak to us in a different way, you know, like before. Um, it's Psalm 23. I'm reading the Amplified Version. It said, The Lord is my shepherd to feel, I'm sorry, to feed, to guide, and to shield me. I shall not want. He let me down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still and quiet waters. He refreshes and restores my soul. Amen. In bracket, life. He leads me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, even though I walk through the sunless valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod to protect and your staff to guide. They comfort and console me. Yes. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed and refreshed my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy, unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell forever throughout all my days in the house and in the presence of the Lord. Amen. 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 This is even more pertinent, more um important in the time in which we we have you know said the lord is my shepherd he said he, he said even though i walk through the valley of death i shall fear no evil Amen. because the lord is our shepherd you know in the times like this in this both scientific and what's it called business and all of the things are not it seems not to be going well now the Bible says when people are saying that it's a casting down, we will say that it's a lifting up, you know, you know. So this is what the scripture is saying there. That the, as long as the Lord is our shepherd, he will guide us, he will feed us, he will guide us, and he will shield us. You know, yeah. um, we shall not be in want. He, he, he will refresh and restore our soul. He will lead us on the path of righteousness. You know, there are ex there were riots in Nigeria, in Lagos. There were some protests in Lagos. And based on, because of the protests, people made excuse, excuses to loot. They op, you know, businesses, people who have invested all their life savings, you know, they, they were crying because of the looting that are taking place because of the protest, right? So, These people, they were what to do before. They, I mean, imagine an electronic store. Look, an insurance company is not as great as you, you know, in Nigeria as what you get here. That oh, don't worry, insurance will cover it. Not all of them have insurance. Mm. Somebody on that, I think the, that 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 looting take, took place on Wednesday. Some people 
woke up on Wednesday morning, woke up as a multi, if not million, if not millionaires, multi millionaires, and they went to bed in penury because of what happened that day. Interestingly, there were some shops that were not touched. They didn't touch some of those shops, but they, you know, they looted some of those shops, but some were spared. Why? That is the favor of God, you know. It, it, even though we pass through the shadow of death, it will not come upon our dwellings. Just, as it, just like Psalm 91, no matter what the circumstances that are going on around, right? No evil will come upon our dwelling in the name of Jesus. So please, I want us to go back and reflect on that Psalm and pray about it. But one thing that is key, the key to those benefits is that God is my shepherd. If mm -hmm. God is not our shepherd, well, the promises is as good as, you know, um, not there because you, you, you only have access to that if God is indeed your shepherd. Amen. 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 So tonight we're going to pray. We're going to declare that we would declare that God is our shepherd because he's our shepherd, right? We yeah. would not want, right? We will feed, we will guide, he will guide us and he will shield us because the Lord is our shepherd. Tonight we will declare that God, you are indeed our shepherd. And because you are our shepherd, we will not lack, we will not be without protection you will protect us against all odds against all you know um like psalm 91 says say thousands will fall on your left ten thousands upon your right and it will not come upon your dwelling <laughs> so that's what we will declare tonight in the name of jesus yeah. and we will also take any prayer point right tonight as well and um, but before we start to pray can i give people opportunity to Give praise reports Amen. and encourage one and other in the name of Jesus. I give the floor to whosoever wants to give a praise report or want to encourage us for two minutes or thereabout. Mm -hmm. Well, I thank God. It says there in, in verse three that God restores my soul, you know, and I thank God for restoration. Uh, I've seen quite a few in the last few weeks and the months, especially with the pandemic and different things. Mm. It's, people are, are drawn to God through diversity and through the pandemic, but God's restoring people within mm. families and churches. So I thank God for restoration. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. I thank God for the opportunity this week as me and Bill went door to door visiting people and dropping and, and anyway one of the ladies in our group has been ex very very ill and uh, so able to go to her door and to give her some flowers and a card you know from everybody and um, I asked her would she allow me to pray for her and she said yes so I, I don't take that lightly um, and then another lady the same day at her door I said can I can I pray for you for this situation so I said yes so I just thank God for that and then the verse here yeah. um, Proverbs 30 verse 5 and it said that every word of God is pure that, and it's then you mentioned the word shield and he's a shield to those who put their trust in him we can trust his word and his promise and I believe that so whatever he says whatever God says our part is by faith we believe it, we receive it, and we act upon that. And we don't listen to anything else. So I just thank God that when he says it, I'm a shield to you, if you put your trust in me, I believe that. If he says, I'm an anchor, then I believe that. Mm -hmm. So your soul can rest in those, and your spirit can mm -hmm. rest in the promises of God, and he can speak them out. So um, I just always thank God for the opportunity to pray for people. Mm -hmm. And people, are, like Bill said, the, the hearts are open to receive prayer and be ministered to. And I just, and we've got to, I think, I don't know who said it. Um, I think Bill did, I don't know, about being the light. He said, and be, yeah. be ready to, you know, ask for opportunities. And when you get the opportunities, be sensitive to know, to step into them. Because it's, 
I know who I am. I, I am rested in God. Uh, but there's a lot, there's hundreds out there that are not. There's family, friends, neighbours, community. So we need to be that light and be the, the, the person to introduce them. As you said, this, the Lord is my shepherd. So it becomes personal to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I just love the premises of God and the they're just two opportunities. And I'm, I know I'm protected. I feel that protection. I know there's a shield and I speak that over my family, friends mm -hmm. and the church. Yes. I've been speaking that out to everybody. Mm -hmm. Amen. God oh, bless you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, anybody else? Oh dear. <laughs> I, I'm that old dear? From my, um, <laughs> was somebody else speaking? No, no. He, was, he was just saying something. You carry on. Uh, no, I'm just thanking God for my sister Denise, the protection in the nursing home that she has there because uh, I was talking to my, uh, my niece, her daughter. And even though she, she only seen her once in, since March, you know, God is looking after her in there. She's still doing good. Mm. The nursing home is still doing good. And I want to keep her in prayer, you know, because um, it's very hard not to see. And I want to keep my family in Ireland in prayer. I'm in contact with them all the time. And they're on the same type of, they're in a tier, tier five lockdown, you know. So I just yeah. want to keep praying for them as well. And perhaps we can pray for them all tonight later on, you know. I'm thanking God for Michael as well. He's back at work and he's been protected at work and he's, he's back, he's healed, it's great. You know, he's strong yeah. and he's encouraged and he's happy as Larry, you know. And uh, thank yeah. God for him, you know. Thank God for his job and all of them. I keep praying for them all the time, all the family down there, Louise and, 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 and my grandson. You know, and let's continue to pray protection for all the men at work and so on and so forth later on. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay. I want to, I want to thank God for um, sixteen exact today sixteen years ago today yeah um, I, <laughs> I I started to live together with Wendy we 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 did our um, what's it called um, legal beats so we went to the court and all of that on the twenty third of October. But on the 28th of October, that's when we, 2004, that's when we actually lived, moved into the same house and lived together as husband and wife. So this is, okay. today is actually 16 years. 16 years anniversary. Yes. Ah, thank that, you, Jesus. That I've been... Um... <laughs> what, you've had an anniversary? You're moving in anniversary. All oh, right, okay, sorry. We'll be together to live together. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 16 years ah. ago. Yeah. Uh. Oh, it's, 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 it's a very good year, uh, month for me. It's got a lot of history, challenging story as well. But we thank God through it all, through it all, through it all. I am grateful to God. Mm. It's, every October has been challenging, but through it all, I have every reason to give thanks to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I, Amen. I, 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 go on. I was just about stay to, wait. Go on, we keep talking together. I'll just let you finish. <laughs> I was about to bust into singing a particular song. Oh, no. Come on, go on Joseph. Go on. No, no. no. <laughs> go on, Joseph. Don't be scared. We, we don't yeah. mind. <laughs> she said, I'm banned from singing. <laughs> when, get Wendy to sing with you. When did you sing the song, Wendy? Yeah, we've missed her. You know, it, it, it's, you just, like? it's just what we will say, the kind of song my father will sing in this kind of yeah. situation. I have a reason to praise my God. I have a reason to praise my God. Yes, indeed. I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord in my life. I have a reason to praise my God. Yes. I have a reason to praise my God. Yes, you do. I have a reason to dance for joy. I have a reason to dance for joy. Lovely. I have a reason to dance for joy. It, it reminds me of my father. Please, let's... let's 
Oh, I love that song. Can you send like me it. the uh, the singer? I'd like, like to it. listen to that later. I like that. It sounds like you'd like to dance to that. I can see everyone dancing. Yeah, I can just yes, see, see moving around, Joseph, yeah. getting into yeah. it. You will see my father in his element when he's singing oh. that. Song. Cool. Well, myself and Denise, we're celebrating 16 years, Joseph. Wow. Last month, last month at church. Celebrating how many? 16 years last month. Oh, fantastic. 16, wow. Denise, we are Denise. I, was, I, I, I told you this today. I was 50 when we came no, in. No, you wasn't. You was 49. You were oh, was that? So I celebrate my fiftieth there. Right? That okay. was in February. We joined in September. Yes. Oh, okay. Two thousand and four. Anne told you that today. I know, but I still. What was that know. for? What was that for? We joined. We took over the church. But the church in over that long. Years, Billy. Sixteen years, Billy. Sixteen years. Church. Thank you, Jesus. Um, yeah. 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 I mean, I'm not gone grey, have I? <laughs> no, under all them colours. <laughs> Christine, don't worry about it. I know, Bill. I don't worry about the grey now. Just hey, listen, everybody. <laughs> if I can colour my hair, I'll colour it. Right on a desert island, then I'll bring a few years <laughs> supply. <laughs> That's, That's right. exactly That's right, right, Denise. Amen and amen. That's yeah, right. Christian, you just woke up. You woke her up. <laughs> Sorry, Joseph. I can't let this go without the opportunity to thank God. For, we've been there, like you said, 15 to 16. 16 years. If it's 16. Paul Cotton, we went to his, he was the um, previous... That was a couple that handed over to us. I don't know, that looked after the church and before we came. And he passed away. And we went to his funeral on the um, Tuesday. Tuesday. And you know what? What blessed me? And I thought, you know what? What impacted me? That it was a celebration. And the church had it, the chairs like a um, semicircle. Wedding. And the church, it was like a wedding. All the chairs had the white covers with a black bow on each one. I mm -hmm. thought I was coming into a wedding. It wasn't depressing. It was absolutely, a, definitely a celebration. And what Good. happened was his daughter and the um, son and the other son giving tributes to dad and the beautiful things they were saying about his dad, about their dad and Paul. I thought, you know what? H how awesome is that? And one son, he broke his heart all the way through, but he said it. He said all the things he wanted to say. And, um, and we knew, I saw the grace of God upon his wife Rita and, and the, his daughter and son and um, I just thank God for and I said to them I said to his wife on the way out and his son and his daughter <laughs> said, just look at us I said you handed the church over and we are still bearing fruit the church yeah. moved on from where it was to where it is now didn't fold up it didn't just go away it's it, the, the fruit is just um it's just there. And you know what I saw in my mind? I saw, just as a, a flash, I saw a picture of um, a field, a harvest, and all the wheat was just blowing, full of life. And, ready, and I just thought, that's a harvest since the Paul, and also continued, continuing on, well, harvest now, and all, the fruit, sorry, of the church as well as a harvest to come in. So it's wonderful. So I want to give glo God glory for a man of God that's gone home. Hallelujah. Amen. We give Amen. God the praise. Okay. Yeah. So let's let's pray tonight. Um, so the prayer point that's been raised, uh, we will pray about it tonight. So first thing foremost, Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. So you need to really love yourself, then you can love your neighbor. So we're going to pray for ourselves and our families. Right, that God we will declare that God is our shepherd, and because He is our shepherd, we will not want, um, and He He will be our shield in the name of Jesus, yeah. and He will continue to restore our soul. Like Pastor said, I said, lot of restoration going to church. Uh, you can see restoration, but let's pray for ourselves, right? That God, let's declare with Moses. With our mouth, we, we confess 
right? So we will declare tonight that God, he will indeed be our shepherd. And because he's our shepherd, we will not lack any good thing. The Bible says every perfect and good gift comes from him, right? So because he is our shepherd, we will not lack any good thing in the name of Jesus. Mm. That it, it will lead us by the still water, right? Mm. That we will fear no evil because it will be by his staff will guard us and guide us in the name of Jesus. Yes. So, Pastor, can I ask you to pray for us within that prayer pointer? Yes. Okay. Hallelujah. Father God, we're so grateful for all that you've done in our lives through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And Lord, we just thank you tonight, Lord, for giving your life a ransom for each and every one of us on Calvary. And that, Lord, you give us new life. Yes. Through the power of your Holy Spirit in each and every one of us. And tonight, Lord, we thank you for that, restoring our souls many times over. We pray for those, Lord, that are struggling tonight. I pray for those that are face, facing tragedy and all the other things that the world is dishing out at the moment. I pray, oh God, for those that are in the clutches of this coronavirus. Yes. I bind it in the name of Jesus. Yes. We take authority through the blood yes. of Jesus tonight over this virus and over all sickness. And Lord, I just pray for those that are in the midst of it right now. Jesus. Lord, somehow your Holy Spirit Jesus. and the testimony of your people and your word, Lord, will just reach yes. people's yes. lives. And Lord, that we too, Lord, in our nations, will see restoration, oh God. That this is not the end, Lord. It's not going to continue. But we praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord, for your provision. I praise you, Lord, for keeping your hand upon each and every one of us. Yes. I pray for our congregation. I pray, Lord, for those around us, oh God, and Lord, that your blood, Lord, avails for sin forever. And I thank you right now. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you glory. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you. Can I please encourage somebody to pray for all the children, all the youths and the children in the church and in our families, mm -hmm. and, you know, that the hand of God will be upon them. You know, I, yes. I, I, I was listening to the radio program about two or three, weeks, three, three days ago. They were talking about the impacts of the uh, lockdown on the mental health of mm -hmm. younger children. Apparently, there has been a negative impact on mental health of children. Apparently, prior to July, um, about one in five children have issues with mental health. Uh, since July, it's gone to about one in nine. Wow. Right? Because of the impact of the lockdown and everything. So let's commit all the children and the you know the young, the youth, and everybody into the hand of God. Yes, Shabrava Kando. God can restore them. He mm. will restore them. He will restore their mental health to God, that yeah. they will not suffer any mental problem because of this COVID-19. You know, mm -hmm. the Bible says everything that God made, they were beautifully made by him. Yes. He said, because they, were, they are from God, they are perfect. So we would declare that God will make them perfect, that their mental health that will be stable, you know, that God will, see, it will, it will strengthen their mental health in the name of Jesus. And it, it will restore their soul, it will restore their mind, and Lord, that they will come on top in the name of Jesus. Yes, amen. And one thing in the name of Jesus. Yes. So can someone please pray for the young and the children and the youth as well? Dear Father, we just thank you, Lord, for the gift of Ed children, Lord. Father, they are a blessing to every Ed family, Lord. Father, they are the next generation, Lord. And, and Father, we just thank you and bless you for them, Lord. Father, in a difficult 
at the times, Lord, and at, 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 at differing at their circumstances, Lord. But Lord, uh, children are affected when their uh, daily lives are. Uh, it changed, Lord, when there is a stress uh, 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 put on them, Lord. Uh, Father, these children are, are our um, uh, the heritage, Lord. Uh, 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 Father, they need the stability, mm-hmm. Lord, of a sound mind, Lord. And we, we just bring all before you, Lord, all different needs and circumstances. And we ask, Lord, a blessing upon them, Father. We ask, Lord, for... Uh, uh, stability to uh, uh, come in, into their yes. hearts and uh, 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 minds, Lord. And we just pray, Lord, that the name of Jesus Christ is uh, uh, raised in hearts, Lord. Uh, mm. uh, 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 Father, as, as a, 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 a stable and a a, a, a dependable a, a, a God. Father, children yes. are looking for dependability, Lord. Father, they are looking for a, 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 something that will uh, give them a, 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 a stability, Lord. And, yes. a, 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 and the, a, the, a, a, the only person who is, a, a, is able to do that, Lord, in their hearts is uh, uh, Jesus Christ. So we pray in, in the name of Jesus for your hand upon every yes. child. Yes. Uh, 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 whatever uh, their needs, whatever their uh, circumstances, that we uh, 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 pray for your hand of strength and uh, uh, guidance upon them, Lord, in uh, uh, Jesus' name. Uh, yes, hallelujah. <laughs> So I, I want to read this verse number six of Psalm 23, verse number six. The Amplified Version that I'm reading, it says, Surely goodness and mercy and unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life. So, some interference, I can't hear you properly. Some interference with someone. Yeah. Someone talking. Someone's phone, possibly. Yes, the phone is a fair. It's better now. It could be the iPad. Oh, was Kent iPad. There you go. It's clear now. Oh, oh it's not. It's still there. Uh... It's uh, switched off. The iPad is uh, switched off, so it, it isn't. We all switched off your phones. Maybe I'll switch off mine. Seems okay. Yeah, it seems better now. Go on, Joseph. First six. Okay, so he said, Surely goodness and mercy and unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life. I like the the the, the choice of word, surely. It, it is with certainty. It's, there is yeah. no any iota of doubt. He is hundred percent sure, you know. Surely it's with that conviction. I want us to pray tonight with that conviction that without any element of doubt at all, that goodness and mercy and unfailing love will follow us all the days of our life. Yes. That as long yes. as we exist, yes. it is guaranteed, it is it is hundred percent guaranteed yes. that we will enjoy the goodness yes. and the mercy. And of unfailing love of God in the name of Jesus. Let us pray together. We will declare tonight. Denise, do you yeah. mind praying for us? Would you, do you mind declaring this upon us that as Maybe. long as we yeah. live, yeah. that's yes, yes, mercy and unfailing love of God will be our portion in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you. We thank Lord for your word. Lord, your word that says. 
The goodness and mercy shall follow yeah. us, O oh God, all the days of our lives. That's a promise for all your children. And Lord, I thank you. I claim it for myself and my family. Uh, I speak it over your church, over every one of your children, O oh God, and their children and their grandchildren, and, and like we just prayed for. Lord, that there's just goodness and sound minds, healthy bodies, oh God, we decree it, we declare it, we speak life over everyone, Lord, with no doubt whatsoever. And in that, Lord, is the, the protection that you are a shield, Lord, that you go, not only are you behind us, Lord, but you go before us, oh God, the Holy Spirit, that you lead and guide us, Lord. And so we're covered, Lord. You, you're also a shield to us, oh God, as we've heard tonight. Yes. So Lord, that shield is over our protection over our minds, our bodies, our spirit, Lord. And Lord, so by your goodness and your mercy, oh God, all the days of our lives, every man, woman, boy, girl, baby, oh God, sound minds, I did, I speak. Yes, Lord. And I thank you, oh God, the spiritual world, into the heavenlies, oh God, and into the spirit world, and into our spirit. So I thank you for that promise, oh God. And I pray for those who don't know you, oh God, as they come to know you, that they too can claim that promise, that goodness and mercy shall come yes, hallelujah. all the days of our lives. And we can rest, your people can rest in peace and knowledge of that. And in that rest, oh God, we're able to just look out and minister to the lost. So I thank you for that, Lord. And I believe it, I receive it. Let faith arise in all your people, oh God, to believe those, these words as they go into the air. Lord, so I just speak that in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Amen. God. And woman and child. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay. So let's let this one. He said, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Yeah. Your rod to protect and your staff to guide. Yeah. They Imagine. comfort and console me. They comfort and console me. So we're going to pray that as many of our friends, family, loved ones, or that we know that we don't know that is going through the challenge of COVID infection or cons um, on one medical reason or the other, right? That are being challenged by those things that God will comfort them, that God will protect those families. Yes. And more importantly, for those who have lost loved ones, that God will console them. You know, yes. if, if God is the one consoling, it's different from if human is consoling you. If God is the one, the, word, the choice of words, the things that, you know, that the Holy Spirit will minister to the spirit of someone who is, you know, who is um, mourning or who is in, who who's sorry because of the lost, lost one, you know, that God will console them, yeah. right? We'll pray that, people, that, that, that the rod of God will protect all of us, right? And it will comfort us and also console those who have lost loved ones, right? It will protect those who are still healed from any form of in infection or disease, that it will heal them, it will comfort them. You know, this is, if you look at that word, this is, that is, you are without is. This is without is. So what will be the opposite of not being at ease? It will be comfort. Yeah. Hallelujah. That God will give everyone that have any form of disease. He will comfort those people. In the name of Jesus, and for mm. those who have lost a loved one, you will console them. In the mm. name of Jesus, Mickey, could right. you please pray for us, sir? Father God, right now, in Jesus, Lord, you're an awesome God, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, and we just pray protection upon our families, for each and every one of our friends, for our workmates. We come against every sickness right now, in the name of Jesus, and we command healing in their bodies right now, Lord, and we just pray protection. We pray comfort for those right now, Lord, that have lost love. We just pray that you help them, Lord, to the grief right now in the name of Jesus. That you are the comfort. That your Holy Spirit will go and comfort people, protect them and guide them and guide our minds right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, as we go about our workplace, I think about all the men at work, Lord. You put up a hedge of protection mm -hmm. about them, Lord. 
And as I pray for them, they protect their families, their children, each and all their loved ones. I pray for my family in Ireland, protection. I pray for protection all over the families of all those in our church and their loved ones and their friends. Let a hedge go over them, Lord. And we just pray in the name of Jesus that this coronavirus ceases, that there will not be a complete lockdown, that disease will cease, that there will that, that in the name of Jesus right now that you cease it and, and we come against it right now in the name of Jesus foul spirit we take against it and we take authority right now in Jesus name because you are an awesome God and we thank you Lord we thank you and we, we expect good results right now in the name of Jesus and right now we take this authority thank you Jesus hallelujah Amen Amen, Amen. Amen. <coughs> <coughs> Amen. I just I just felt the need for us to pray for healing for everyone, you know. In I don't know the name of the disease, I don't know the name of the condition, I don't know. We could even stand in in, uh, in prayer for someone that we know that's going through one form of disease or the other, you know. That's the healing power. Let the healing power flow. Let yeah. it flow like a river. Let your healing power flow. Yes. As we speak the word of God, the Bible says he sent forth to your world and he healed our disease. You know, he is the Lord. I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord your healer. I sent my Lord and he healed your disease. I am the Lord your healer. Oh, I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord your healer. I sent my word and I healed your disease. You are the Lord my healer. Father, you sent forth your word. And you heal our disease. You are the Lord, our healer. For God is not a man that he will lie. He sent his word to heal our disease. Yes. He's the Lord, our healer. From the cow of our head to the sole of our feet. He's the Lord, our healer. Hallelujah. Spirit, the healing. Lord, you sent your word mm -hmm. and you heal our disease. Mm -hmm. You are the Lord, <clears throat> our healer. Oh, I am God. I am God of all flesh. Alabasando. Kando loro mosende. We speak to the Lord that uh, your healing power will flow like a river, even among us in our Come on, hallelujah. Among our friends, Lord, there will be an explosion of healing in the name of Jesus. Yes. We will encounter you like never before. The eyes will be that behold us will behold the glory of God in upon our life. Yes. Lord, every area of our, our life that need your touch. Lord, we bring them before you today. Now, Lord, you will, we, we will, you will touch us today. Tonight, we will not be the same. We will not be the same the way we came, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Our story will not remain the same in the name of Jesus. Tonight, there will be an encounter, a tangible encounter. Lord, there will be a testimony by the reason of tonight, oh God. We will feel your touch in the name of Jesus, like yes. never before, oh God. There will be a turnaround in the name of Jesus, like Elijah. Bible says, Elijah, mm. he went to the source of the source of water of Mara, and he spoke to that one, and yes. he swooped in the water. Father, Lord, I speak to the source of any form of disease in our yes. life. I speak the word of God to that source, and I declare, Amen. thanks for we receive healing <coughs> in the name of Jesus. Even the dead bones, they rose again because they, they spoke the word of God to the dead bones. Hallelujah. And they killed the life of God. For every, 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 every
fresh dream. Oh, 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 my son, oh, 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 oh. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Come on, glory. There is yeah. healing. Thank you, Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. Thank yeah. you, Father. Thank yeah. you, Father. Because yes, God glory, God glory, glory, glory. Bob says, by two immutable things, God cannot lie. Because yes. God is not a man that you lie. And he said, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health. Therefore, yes. now we declare we will enjoy good health. Come on, glory. Jesus. Thank you, that Jesus. Desire for us. Yes. Thank yes. you, Father. We give Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Joseph. Um, Hallelujah. I've been asked this week, Joseph. Um, one of the ladies in the group has sent me a text to ask for prayer. And I did put it on the church, I think. I think I mentioned it last week. A young mother gave birth to a baby four weeks old and the mum's got a tumour. And yeah, anyway, she texted, I got a text through this morning for she said, thank it, thanking everyone for praying. Her, the, it's her niece, it's, um, who is it? Diane's niece in our group. And the young girl, the young mother, 24, I think she is, she's gone under a body scan. And um, she said it's, it's gone worse. She said they, they found lesions in her liver and other organs in her body. And they don't know whether it's related to the brain. So they're, they're doing all these tests. She said, the whole thing's gone worse. I said, um, hope we'll continue to pray. So can we pray for her? Another lady in our group is called Lily. And I found out she's a, her son died in um, Jersey. Was it um, Jersey? Not Jersey. Um, um, I love man. But so I found Lily and she's just very, very low, very down. The doctor's concerned about her. She's not eating. She's not drinking, and she said, I feel so depressed and I feel so low. That we've covered that before, but I did specifically say we would say. So that's her. And um, Linda Wright, Linda Barton, uh, these are ladies have all been physically not well at all. Um, and Dorothy Hoddart, so she's been to see her doctor. It's a long term thing, and she just doesn't feel that they're listening to her. So she's gone away with no no change. Um, so I would pray for them, these ladies. Yeah, cool. um, doctors are concerned for Lily, and she's uh, having blood tests, and they're concerned because her it's out of character that she's a not a depressed woman. She's quite a cheerful lady, mm -hmm. and she doesn't know where where this low feelings come from. But she's weeping. She's she's not eating. Um, but can we bring them by name and Natalie? Mm -hmm. Who? Sorry. Who, who was the other one? Natalie. Natalie. So that will be a good report that the doctors are come to the team are looking at what to do with this young mum. And so mm -hmm. um, I think I, I'm not sure of that. Yeah, and also um, Paul, not Paul. Pastor Stan, um, they're gonna. The, the good news is that the whatever it is in his heart, they can do it by keyhole. So it's not open heart. It's not open heart surgery. That's brilliant. Um, so we we're waiting for for that. And I know he's a bit concerned. So we can pray for him. They're specific. Let's pray. Do you want to pray, Bill? Or? Hallelujah. Father God, we're thankful so much for Calvary. We thank you, Lord, that you give your life a ransom for us. And Lord, that by your stripes we are healed. And we claim that right now. And we claim it and we declare it and we decree it over these uh, names that have been mentioned for Linda's, uh, for Dorothy, for Lily and uh, Lord Natalie. I lift them all before you, Lord. And those that are, are around us in our church, Lord, that I may... Uh, be under the weather we bind sickness right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we take authority over you and we plead the blood of Jesus right now and we command healing right now we command a break to these tumors and these cancers and these right now that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow and there's no greater name than the name of Jesus and 
and man you right now sickness in all your forms you will obey the word of god right now we come against coronavirus in the name of jesus or oh, once again we join in agreement that no fear even though when we go through the valley of the shadow of death amen no fear no evil because no. you are with us oh god by a blessing we declare yes, yes. lord that we'll sit at the yes. table at the banqueting table and lord that we'll rejoice in your provision lord in all things i just give you thanks right now yeah and I thank you in the mighty name of jesus thank you lord Nazareth. Shandala, yeah. thank you lord for your healing power lord. thank you for good report worthy lord yeah worthy. hallelujah thank you lord 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 thank you everybody yes. um we used to, do we can we share the grace are we allowed to share the grace, Pastor? You can share anything you want. <laughs> Do we know that? I don't know. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Okay. Can we share it together? Yeah. yeah. May the grace of our Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The fellowship the of, the of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Oh. Oh. Abide with us now yeah. and forevermore. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Bless, Bless you. you. Bless you. Have a good evening, Bye. everyone. Hallelujah. Bless you all. Oh, you to the uh, See you Sunday. Uh, uh, See you Sunday. Uh, uh, Bye, Dan. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.